Let's have a look at it. One, two, I mean, it was a, a double punch combination which definitely was set off before the bell rang. That's all that matters. If it was before the bell, it is very legitimate. The right hand finished Alan Temple off. He had been down 11 times. Jason Rowland put him down, but couldn't keep He wasn't. Burke never really established himself in the fight, and that was his problem. A lovely little short right uppercut there, and he knows that Burke is in trouble with that punch. There it is, just a short little right uppercut. And he wheeled away like a celebrating goal scorer in the Premiership after that, McKee. That was the next one. The second one just caught him. Just by the, the chin. Again, the celebrations from McGee. The legs would not obey. Still talking over there to Burke. And I don't think it was an invitation to any kind of millennium party either. Here we see Gareth. A tremendous left there. And he, he was gone. It took him quite a time to actually go over. But that, that punch was one he was never going to recover from. And uh, even on the slow motion, it looks uh, pretty quick. I don't think Stobin would have a, a, any chance of seeing it come. Well, you saw the head wildly flick back 